welcome to part two of this two-part uh, video. It wasn't meant to be two parts, but it just ran a bit long and I didn't cut anything out, so it's as I filmed it. So this part starts now where I left off. I hope everyone watched to the end and saw the actual patent expert at work. Um, thanks for uh, tuning in on this one and I'll see you all later. Right, yo. So that washer's dried. It's also now getting dark, so I'm on my daylight bulb lamp. One second. That'll do. It's a bit of a shadow because I've also got my phone on charge at the same time. Um, so, yeah, come on. Like I said before, on the iPhone, the auto gate, I think it's called an auto gate, it is an auto gate, doesn't work as quick as it could. The old white balance, etc. Paintbrush on it, don't matter. Um, so yeah, you can see what I was saying before about how the black, like the, the right gun, right gun flesh shade. Yeah, I used right gun flesh shade. I did. Yep. So the brown wash, the black from the base coat, and then obviously the yellow together. I've given it a decent worn yellow look. Obviously, I banged some stills up once it's all done. So everyone can see. That's where it's looking at now anyway. So the next thing to do, so with this moon dust, I'm gonna try, this is, this is a strange one. Sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I haven't worked out why it doesn't work sometimes for me on this. Um, but with this moon dust, you can see the shades. Bang some on this palette here. Let's see on the palette, it's a lot lighter. So this artificial bulb and my LED light does make it look a bit rubbish. But it is what we've got, so that's what we're going to do. Let's break a new bit of foam. It's cool stuff about this hobby sponge, and, and as a tool, it's so easy to do what you want with it. Right. So I don't want to have the same sort of coverage as I had before with this light colour, because it's not going to work. So I really want... Is a square, not a, but not a square. So I really want about that sort of size. All I've done is just tear up sponge. I've got plenty of sponges, pennies. Um, same as before with the, with the lighter colour. I'll show you what I mean. So, and obviously, see that's too much already. Let's grab another bit of foam. This is almost like a dry brush. Uh, is the is the is the look you're gonna try and go for? So get some some paint on the sponge. I just demonstrated there it was too much. Tap some off. So I've gone that large flat area. I'm highlighting it. Now with this, if you put too much on, latest. With the weathering, because we are still painting yellow, we're not weathering yet. With the weathering, you can get some of this back off again, or blend it in a little bit more. What I'm going to do, and bear in mind some of the areas I'm, gonna I'm touching are going to be oily on the finished item. And I'm doing the reverse surfaces as well, even, even though they are in shade. I'm also nowhere near the camera, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Yes, yeah, so I'm doing the reverse surfaces as well, even though they're nowhere near the shade. Sorry, they're in the shade. Start again. Um, purely because they would still be not highlighted, but this is this is the thing. As it is now, it's in in this mode of articulation. But these legs, as you can see from the the articulation points, are designed to be fully upright and then down again. They also pivot from the mechanism. So any any flat surface with an edge could theoretically be a faded edge from the sunlight, which is what I'm trying to mimic in a small way. I'm not trying to 
not going for hundred percent reality obviously because we could be at this a long while. Now these are uh, on the front of the on the two front ones I've added like an armor armored style plate which fits in with the rest of the build so they're gonna be like a silver. What I've also got is some uh, decals it's Brush and Bolton. When I get them out, I'll have a look. And they're like hazard stripe decals. And that's the different thicknesses. So what I'm thinking of doing is on these flat surfaces here, which there's a pair on every single leg. I'm gonna add, some, I've got hazard stripes about that small. I'm gonna add some hazard stripes as well. Just to emphasis, add emphasis to the fact that it's gonna be almost Almost like the stuff that's on a JCB, like the 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 that, that sort of industrial look. A bit too much paint there. And the good thing about this this uh this look as well, if you had too much paint, you can just brush it off with your finger. Um, I'm gonna add a bit to the pads. Although I'm gonna probably paint these pads uh, like a black rubber. I think. But like I said before, I can't decide yet. So what we've got now. This is a really awkward shape to hold as well. It's upside down, but you know what we've got now? Two seconds, sort this color out. E, there we go. Is that sort of coloring going on? So yeah, it is slightly too too much of the orange from the, or the, the brown from the wash. But that's cool for me. I haven't done a rust, rust pass. If you found that this sort of wash, the right one is, is quite a brown, like, they're all brown washes. The right, the right on flesh, flesh shade it is quite a, 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 a brown, a, an orangey brown, and you wanted something to be more like a, a, a more a darker colour. Then I'd go for a, a, like a mixture. You could add a couple of drops of, of, of black to your brown. If you're going to do your wash with oils, then that's certainly something to do, especially if you've got like a, a like an umber or a sepia colour. Like the, when I was doing this, I'm looking at this, the serum is really brown, whereas obviously the right and flesh shades are an orangey brown. So you can change the colour and the modula modulation of it as you, as you do. Remember when we started the video, right at the start, I talked about this car. Sorry. And you can see, colour wise, with this, I didn't go too faded on it. There's a couple of patches you can see, and obviously I went over the top with the, the weathering powders and 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 stuff. So it took some of it away. But on some of the vertical, uh, on some of the, the the prominent surfaces and the straight edges, you can see the lighter colours. That's how this will look once it's uh, finished. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that to dry for a second. It doesn't take very long at all, um, and then we we'll move on to the next stage. We're, we're pretty much there now. You, you, you could go as it is. What I'm going to probably do though is paint in the bits that I want black and a couple of bits that I want silver on each of these legs and then I'll pop back. Awesome, right, we're back. So, off camera, the biggest thing you can see is I've added these decals. These have the stripes. I wasn't going to put everyone through the paint or watch me put these on and cut them out, etc. etc. Um, There's only really two people I use for decals. Um, Tom, well, Tom Walton, Walton style, 164th. Um, he does a lot of my um, more realistic decals, my pin-up decals, the nose art decals, um, the symbols, etc., etc. And these guys, they're, um, they're brand new to me. Um, recently, the Mighty Brush. So they do more wargamey decals. So stuff like hazard stripes, um, and num plain numbers and stuff like that. Um, I wax, I go on about Tom's stuff all the time. It's really, really good. The, like I said, the Mighty Brush, I've only used them a little bit, but the, these are these are as good um, in the application, the colour and the quality. So I'm really happy with those. Um, other things I've done, obviously, add some black to the pads to make it look like it's got like rubber pads on the uh, on the feet and some silver. Well, it's actually uh, gunmetal. Can't find it. It's on my desk somewhere. There is it's actually an uh, army paint, paint of gunmetal with a tiny drop of black in it, just to tone it down a little bit. Or I think there'd naturally be some sort of mechanical scan. I've also painted the rest of the base in black, 
just to outline these parts here. So, as you can see, if you can see, I'm just get a better color. This is nearly there for me. I haven't got much more to do. To be honest, I could leave it just there. The only thing that rankles slightly is the hazard stripes stripes are slightly bright. Even though they got wear, because they're a clear, uh, because they're a, uh, a white background, so the white's printed first and the, the color over the top, they're not uh, opaque. Sorry, they're not transparent. Um, so you can't see the color behind it. So they stand out a little bit too much for my liking. So what I'm gonna have to do is, is wear them down a little bit. Sorry about that, my daughter woke up and I had to go and sort her out. <clears throat> now I've got no voice. Cup of tea, one sec. <clears throat> Cup of tea. Right, so as I was saying, we're nearly there. All I need to do is dull down these deer cows a little bit. And I'm going to do it in two ways. I'm going to try one way first, and if it doesn't work how I want it, I'll do it the other way. So where I'm going to do it, and I'm going to weather the whole lot at the same time. So obviously with these Tammy Weather and Master powders, um, same as I did with the rust. That doesn't work, and I don't like the 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 the, the way it's made. These hazard stripes look, which which I want them to look a different shade of yellow anyway. That's the whole point of them. Then what I might might do is for a very very tiny amount of the moon dust yellow. The, the, the more washed out yellow on a sponge, almost like a dry brush. Put some on and hammer the majority of it off on a piece of kitchen towel. I'll go over the top of it and dab it through. That'll make it look more like it's faded and the, the layer underneath has come through. Unlike how it looks with the with the wear on it at the moment, where it, if you look, there's the lens. If you look here, it just looks like it's tape, which is cool. Because you can get hazard tape in, in different thicknesses, etc. etc. So I will say etc. 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 So what I'm gonna do first is stand standard pass I always do first before I do any other passes is with the oil stain. There's a soot on here. I just can't get on with it for some reason. Um so first of all, I'll go over the black bits because it makes them look more rubber like. It would help if I didn't turn that to my lap and you can actually all see what I'm doing. So I'm just talking and you're not actually seeing what's happening. Uh, then I'm going to go going top down. No particular reason. Because I know people should have gone bottom down there. Throw myself now. <laughs> All I'm doing is giving the sides a bit of a dirty for a second. Check it on that one, done that side. These are the, the surface in contact with the ground and this yellow. They're going to be a little bit darker. Going to darken them up a little bit more than I normally would. Like on the yellows, I tend to just on a, on like her vehicles. What I tend to do. So this this area is a great example. That tends to be what I do on the center of a panel. Just a couple of passes. So if it's a door, I go all with the direction of travel. If it's the roof, I'll go with the direction of travel. I'm going to avoid that for a second because I need to rust that out. So I've gone all over. Get some fresh on on here. That's cool. Just check, I don't want too much, but I don't want too little. I'm not necessarily trying to blend out this yellow hazard stripe. I'm trying to blend it into its surroundings. So I'm doing the doing the opposite. I'm never gonna lose those edges, and I don't want to lose those edges. That's not the point of putting them on. If that was the case, I wouldn't have used them. I'd have left them off. I certainly wouldn't have freehanded it because I'm not that, that blooming good, that's for sure. Some people are amazing at freehand work though. Cool. Some of the freehand stuff you see blows your mind. That's actually come out how I wanted it, if I'm honest. There's still a different shade. The black's darkened it up nicely. So, 
And obviously we've, we've still got that brown wash shown through, that right in the flash shade. So, colour choices, I've got orange rust, I've got dark rust. It's a bit so, dark rust show, shows that the rust's been there for a while. We're not on screen, that was handy. Dark rust shows that the rust's been there for a while, <clears throat> which is always replicated by this, this, this orange wash anyway, this right from flesh shade wash anyway, in areas like here. Ooh, there's the scent of the camera. Uh, it's not picking it up, but there we go. So really the dark rust is probably too much. If I go over the top of the orange rust, it's gonna crack as well. So, I'm gonna try and go in the same places on every piece. So on the top of the bends, on that flat surface, and down the sides, over the metal on the sides as well. I'm not pushing vastly hard because I don't want to. The aim isn't to make this all rusty, this part. The aim is to make it, make it look like it's used. Now that those silver panels, like I've put on to, to mimic like a, a retrofitted arm plate, they weren't part of the kit. I'm gonna wear them a little bit more because nothing stays silver for long. Unless it's painted silver. It's certainly not going to be stainless steel, that's for sure. Not, not where we are placing this. Another area to, to put a bit of rust on. Bits that won't really move. So you can see in here, it's not yellow, but I've paint, so I've painted it. Obviously they're the hinge pins. I don't know what they even would be called. Cutter pin's probably the wrong word, like a hinge pin. So they would rotate, but obviously this collar would stay still. And the area above it, which you're not really gonna see where those bolts are there, that's an area of very little use. So there you go. That's with the wear on it. On the yellow, the yellow is pretty much done for me, as far as I'm concerned on this, on this case. Like I said at the start, move this out of the way. Like I said at the start, it's not, this is how you must paint yellow. I'm the best at painting yellow, blah, blah, blah. It's, this is how I paint yellow for my uh, post-apocalyptic Mad Max style builds for Gaslands, Autokill, etc. So if we have a look at this now compared to the Renault 5. It's gonna look different anyway, hey, because we're under a daylight bulb and it really washes out the colors. It, it, they're similar. Certainly similar, because I painted them in pretty much the same technique. This one's got slightly more orange on it, slightly more rust on it, because that's how I want it. This one's slightly dirtier, because that's the, the point of it. There's no mud or anything on this. There's no dust or anything like this. I don't tend to mud up or dust up my vehicles. Some people do, and they make it look really, really good. When I do it, it just looks terrible. Um, so I don't. Another, only other thing I'd really do after that is quickly run a silver... Uh, Tammy Weather and Master across the bottom. Just pick out a few of the details. And obviously, this is for an Econoline pickup, um, which you'll have to wait and see at the end once it's finished. And all gravy. All right then, folks. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll stick some stills at the end, like I always do. Sorry, I'll stick some stills at the end, like I always do. Some more stuff I've painted with yellow. Um... After that, it's really the same for, for painting red. It's the same, I paint red in the same technique. Like I've done this, I've been doing this in between. So this is black with, with just a red. This is a really, really vibrant red, but with the sponge, it wallops the tone down a load. So this is Mephiston red. This is what any, if, you, if you've ever seen, if you don't know about Warhammer 40,000, if you've ever seen a Space Marine, they're either blue or red for the vast majority of them. And this is one of the reds they use. Or, or that's very similar to that for the red. But this is more washed out because I've obviously used the sponge. I've stippled it on. Um, so there's bits of black showing through still. That's the whole point. All right, so that's the red. Me doing a video about red's pretty pointless. It, it's the same technique as doing, as doing this. Um, I might do one about silver because I've got, I've got silver down fairly good. But it would only be a short one because this is this is silver out of a pot with a sponge and it's come out 
almost like chrome um, but that's only if people ask other than that the videos going forward will either be like scratch building ones or I might do a couple of build videos so I've been doing a lot of builds obviously I've got a couple of bits on the table in front of me now that I've just built over the last couple of days I've still got the war rig that I'm working on I'm still filming bits of that as I go that's a bit of a long project it's not coming out how I wanted it to so I'll have a play with that at some point soon all right then folks I'm going to shoot thank you very much see you all later And this is what the legs look like when they're done. Uh, attached to the vehicle they were uh, being built for. Uh, a truck uh, for Chad at Televised Carnage. Um, yeah, something a bit different. If you follow me on Facebook, you've already seen this. Or Instagram, you've already seen this. Uh, yeah, so that, that's it for the video on how I do the Wasteland Yellow. Um, I may do some build videos next, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, probably. Um, but. I'll let everyone know, obviously. You'll know, see it. Other thing is that I've got a hell of a lot of cars kicking about, so I might just do a this is everything I've got currently. Um lay them all out on my display table, which is where I'm filming this anyway. So as you can There's some previews. <laughs> um yeah. I still can't work this out with this if an iPhone. Anyway. Um, that's it, quick outro. Uh, see everyone there. Bye.